versatile actor with standout roles on TV and in films like one of last year's most talked about movies, The Hate You Give. He's now starring in the new legal drama, Proven Innocent, taping right here in Chicago. Please welcome Russell Hornsby. Get up. The that's faithful. Right. faithful. The faithful. Yes, yeah. that's what I told him earlier. I'm like, wow, we really owe this audience some big love. But we also owe you some big love because we're a big fan of your work. And I feel like people need to know more about you. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be your publicist. Huh? Yeah, just put it out there. No, we're working it out. I mean, you know, the, the reality of it is, is, uh, you know, the, it's a 20 year overnight success, mm -hmm. uh, as they say. You know, you, you put in the work and you make sure that it's good work so that when you get here, yeah. you can stay here. Yeah. yeah. Well, right, you well you're here to stay. All right, well, thank you. Yes. I, I think so. It feels like uh, every movie I've been turning on this past year, you have been in it. Yes. It, it, has it felt like you've been <laughs> thank you. as no, busy it, as you have been? It has. I've, I've been busy. I like to say uh, 18 was my harvest year. You know, I, I looked at 17 as the, I was just, you know, sowing the seeds, planting everything in the ground. You know, when you look at Seven Seconds with Regina yes. King, mm -hmm. you look at Time on the, that I did on The Affair, yep. uh, you look at Creed Two, and then yep. also The Hate You Give, all that sewing that you you know you're doing, yeah. and then everything kind of came in full boom in eighteen, right. right? And I was ready, and I was turning around. Everybody was like, "Yo, you hotter than a two dollar pistol." <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I wait, said, yeah. We should go back to your humble beginnings though, because you've had like a crazy work ethic to the point where you were Santa, you were a black <laughs> pilgrim, like <laughs> you. But I mean, I think that speaks to something about yes. how it doesn't come too small till it doesn't come at all. You were willing to work at whatever. Absolutely. You know, my motto was whatever it, it, it is. It would Whatever I do to make money has to be performance related, you know. So yeah. that was I didn't. I worked as a bartender and a waiter for like two minutes, <laughs> got fired from both jobs, and then I went out and did performance work. And, you know, that's how I earned my living to pay my rent and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Were you not a good bartender? No, you know, I just didn't like people. You know, people get stupid and order yeah. you around and where's my this? I want to know if he was a enough. good if he was a good black pilgrim. Like I just want to know. Well, you know, you were the black pilgrim they call my, my nickname was Pilgrim Tyrone. <laughs> You know, the, the, one of the anchors, he gave me that nickname and it stuck and people saw it. So it was just, it was funny though. Uh, yeah. But you have to have those times though. You have yeah. those humble beginnings. We all do. It was great. It's enriching. I, I can look back. I got wonderful, fond memories and good stories about yeah. it, you know, yeah. and you just meet different people as well. And it also just tests your mettle. You right. know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, this is a hard business. So you got to yeah, be, you gotta, it you gotta is. be really. Was there ever a time when you said, you know what, I'm going to hang it up and I'm just going to, I'm going to just be a good bartender. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, the truth is, uh, I, I, I ran scared until I could run free. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't have a I didn't have a plan B. There was no, you know, there was no plan B. I just realized I just needed to work for as long as I could until, you know, the opportunities came. The reality of it is, and this is what I tell a lot of young actors and young artists, make sure that you're doing it for the work. Mm. And in not to be a star nor a celebrity, make mm -hmm. sure you're doing it for the work. Mm -hmm. And that's what I look to do. So whether it would be stage, you know, screen, television, whatever it is, it had to be about the work. And then if you can, you do, if you can work, then you'll look to make a living. And then everything becomes a byproduct of hard work. Right. And of course, you got to have a little bit of talent. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But that all helps. It's so know? funny. I'm sitting here talking to you, but I feel like you have a very strong presence in everything you do, whether yes. we're talking Cree, Seven Seconds, but we got to talk about the hate you give. How how did you prepare for a role like this? This is such an important movie, book, story Absolutely. that everybody should know Absolutely. about. Absolutely. You know, I, I took it very seriously. I think the, the book that uh, Angie Thomas wrote was, was brilliant. I think mm -hmm. it was a masterful work. And the character that, that she wrote of Maverick was a man's man. And, yeah. and he was, uh, you know, a good husband and a good exactly. father. And uh, what I did was I sequestered myself for a month. You did. Hmm. Because, you know, he spent three years in prison. And so right. I wanted to know what that seclusion was like. And I, all I did was read and, and listen to, you know, listen to different uh, uh, tapes and music and whatnot. And then I started finding his walk and how he talks and all those people that I come across over the years, yeah. you know, coming from Oakland and all the brothers that I knew, yeah. this was to honor them. You know, nice. this is to honor the men that I knew growing up who, who represented, you know, uh, 
strong, upstanding brothers, family members, husbands, fathers, all of those things. And I wanted to do this for them. Right. When you sequester yourself, do you do this at your home or did you go somewhere? I do this at my home. Mm -hmm. well, I asked my, my wife to, she, uh, our family lives uh, east of LA or her family is east of LA. And so I just, I said, you know, you mind going to stay with your mama and you know what I mean? Really? Daddy for, for a How few weeks. How did that weeks. conversation go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? My, my, me and my wife have been together 15 years uh -huh. and, and she's my biggest fan, my biggest supporter. And she understands what it is, you know, yeah. what it means to me yeah. and how in depth and how hard I work when it yeah. it's time to get down. Yeah. Well, all of your work, and especially lately, we've been seeing is very impactful. The, yes. the movies, the films are very important. And, and this new project you have, Proven Innocent, yes, is, is no different. Tell us about that. Well, you know, Proven Innocent, is a, it's a legal drama dealing uh, with the criminal justice system dealing with the wrongfully convicted and so what we're what we're doing is based the premise is a young woman was uh, sent to prison illegally and she spent 10 years in prison my character was a lawyer helped get her out of out of prison okay. we started a law practice that dealt with re, re, uh, freeing the wrongfully convicted and it stars myself, uh, Rochelle Lefebvre, and the great Kelsey Grammer. Mm. Right. And this is based on the Innocent Project over it, at Northwestern, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That was the impetus for it. And the creator, uh, David Elliott, was you know really passionate uh, about the Innocence Project. Um, you know, he's a he's a lawyer, and just decided to write this uh, this story because he felt that there wasn't enough attention. Mm. There's always something attention that should be paid, you know, to all these, these stories and these people. And, you know, when we're looking at the injustice justice system, yeah. you know, it, it really needs to, you know, light a candle to it and, and put some, shed some light on it. Absolutely. Right. And you're shooting this right here in Chicago. So how long do you get to spend in our uh, balmy city? Yeah, <laughs> I know. Great time to be here. <laughs> the temperature gauge, we're cold and blistering. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm here for about another week. Uh -huh. been, here, okay. been here since August. I've been here about another week. And uh, the wind is going to whisk me away. Yeah. 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 And you get to be like here for a possible record where we're like gonna be the coldest day ever in Chicago. Well, you know, up. I was here in 2011. I was shooting Shameless, mm. and I was well, here for the, the for the storm, for the storm when the Lake Shore Drive and people. So got it's stuck your in the fault. Car. It is. Every time you come here. <laughs> so you know, I got my I got my scar, my battle scars. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. Yeah. It's cold, man. But you got you all have a great city here. Uh, it's a beautiful city. There's a, there's a lot to do. Yeah. People are great. Uh, I've had a great time. My my family has had a had a wonderful time as well. It, it's just too cold. So yeah. I, you know, I'm just, I'm, click, I to go. I'm clicking my heels three times and said, there's no place like the crib. <laughs> hey, we're all going to sequester ourselves at your house after yeah, next week. Yeah. All right, Russell, thanks so much. Come back and see us anytime. Absolutely appreciate yeah. it. All Thank right. you. The Hate You Give is out now on digital, Blu ray, and DVD. And you can catch Russell in Proven Innocent. It premieres on Friday, February 15th at 8 o'clock.